Hello readers, this is Miss Sunshine and we are reading Bulldog books. So we are going to start off with our nonsense word practice. Remember you have one minute to read as many nonsense words as you can. If you finish the page and the, and the minute is not all done, go back and start over. Then at the end, we're gonna pause the video so you can keep track of your score. Are you ready readers? Get set and begin. All right, stop right there, my literary friends. Now you pause the video, go back, and count the number of nonsense words you were able to read in one minute. Okay, I'm pretty excited about our book today because I remember a field trip we went on and we talked all about how water can be a gas or a liquid or a solid, and this book is all about water as vapor or gas in the form of clouds. So the title of this book is called Weather Watch Clouds. It's by Jennifer Fretland Van Forst. So take a look at our table of contents. As you'll recall, or as you remember, a table of contents tells us all the different parts that we're going to find in this book. It also tells us what page number we're going to find those parts on. Interesting thing about this book, it is a nonfiction book, which means the information in this book, it's factual or true. It's not fantasy or fiction where it's a story or it's make-believe. So let's read this first page. Are you ready? We are going to read this as an echo read. Look up, look up, what do you see? Now your turn. Ooh, what a pretty, pretty, pretty sky. Clouds are made of water vapor. Some are fat and puffy. Some are thin and stringy. Now let's move on to the next page. Are you ready? Let's move my, I have to move my box out of the way. Clouds tell us the weather. Will it rain? Will it snow? Look up. Now your turn. And do you notice that the punctuation on this page? We have three different kinds of punctuation on this page. We know a period ends a sentence, and when we're reading it, we give a good, strong pause. A question mark is how we end a question, and our voices need to sound like we're asking a question when we read them. Finally, this exclamation mark is meaning we need to read it with a lot of feeling and a lot of expression. Let's read page 10. Some clouds are puffy. They look like cotton balls. What do they mean? Now your turn.
Now page 11. The weather will be dry. Leah does not need her boots. Your turn. Big dark clouds are full of moisture. Heavy droplets fall to the ground. And I love it because the author has provided us with a wonderful text feature in the form of a photograph. If you don't know this word droplets, you can look at this photograph and you can see that the author has labeled it for us droplets. Are you ready to read this page? Your turn. It's raining. Ben grabs his umbrella. Your turn. Today is very cold. Look up. The clouds are low and heavy. Now you. Snow may fall later. Meg grabs her coat. Look, the clouds are piled up. That means a storm is coming. Jeb plays inside today. What will the weather be like where you are? Look up. So take a look because we have a really cool, actually kind of two types of glossaries here. So we have types of clouds and they give us all these different names and vocabulary words for clouds. So remember at the very beginning, it talked about these thin stringing clouds. These are called cirrus clouds. So if you see these thin stringy clouds, let's read this as a coral read. These thin stringy clouds are a sign that the weather is likely to change soon. Then this is a big one. Are you ready? <laughs> this is cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus. Woo! I hope I'm saying that right. Cumulonimbus clouds. Let's read this one together. These clouds are often called thunderheads. I, I like that better. Let's call them thunderheads. They are a sign that a storm is on the way. Okay, let's read this orange box for cumulus, cumulus clouds. These puffy white clouds are a sign of nice weather. And now let's read the green box down below. It says stratus. Rain often falls from these low flat clouds. And here is our picture glossary of different things that you may or may not have known. There are droplets. I showed you that picture when we got to it in our book, very small drops. Moisture is another vocabulary word. We know that means wetness. Stringy, we just saw over here in our types of clouds, our cirrus clouds. Stringy means stretched out to look like string. And then last word is vapor. I kind of mentioned that at the very beginning of our book. Vapor is fine particles of a liquid such as water that are suspended in the air. So vapor is what a cloud is made out of. 
The last thing I want to show you in this book is our index because we have all these cool vocabulary words and it tells us in the index what page we're going to be able to find those vocabulary words on in the book if we want to go back and check them out. Well, I love clouds. I love to see if I can find pictures in clouds. So if you get a chance and there are clouds where you are, go outside and look up. See if you can find any kind of picture in the clouds. I'll see you next time, readers.